to explain to you how you can handle the problem and provide the best user experience possible and the smooth application, let's use example. Imagine this gentleman comes to you and he asks you for help. This cat, imagine that he wants to sell some stuff and he needs an application for that and cats are fancy, of course, and royal animals. So he designed for him this floating card, like a messenger, let's say. So you need to know where the user puts his finger and you want to create some animations of that component to move it on the screen. You are thinking how to solve it, of course. And it turns out you have a choice. Because you remember, you have some JS area and some native area, so you could use both of them in some way. And let's say you tried the JS approach first, because it works out of the box. You have built a component which is called palm responder, and it's kind of touch wrapper for the palm gesture. But the effect, eh, lousy. Uh, on this animation, you can see a real example I built. Um, I fully loaded the JS thread. I did some stupid computation in, in the meantime. And as you can see, the gesture is totally not so smooth. It's pretty bad user experience. Why does it happen? Well, when you think about this code, which is just running, it's something like this. You start your application in JS and prepare JS animation, <coughs> object, uh, object of animation on JS. And you are like, hi native, I'm JS. Tell me when the user touches the screen. And J uh, the native is like, yeah, OK, I will tell you. Hey, listen, JS, the user just touched. And JavaScript uh, is again like, OK, tell me how much. And the native is, eh, one pixels. And the JS say, OK, do this and that. And this happens all the time, hundreds of times per second. It's a huge lot of communication, right? It's not the best way to do it. But you have another way to solve this problem. You can create, in JavaScript, native animation object, set it in advance to the native, and tell the native just, native, when the user touches the screen, do what you need to do and it will be fine. And native is like, OK, I got my information. I know what to do. And the effect is way better. But um, so you need to put some effort into that, but it's really worth it. But imagine now the other situation that Mr. Cat knows that you are good developers because you figure out, yeah, I need native for this. And he wants to help you again. And he's doing Cat Alicante conference, and he hired some students for the app development because he wants to publish agenda, and the developers didn't deliver the product at all. And it, it's one week to go. What do you do then? Do you use native again? Well, to be honest, creative, creating a native JavaScript object on the JS is pretty expensive. So if you want to be using it many times, it won't save you any time, basically. So the answer is, everything depends on the context. And the superpower of React Native is that it's highly flexible. You could do as much native and as much JS as you want to. And there's another thing that, in fact, our customer, like the person who orders some, uh, some software from us, is also a human being, so remember about this. This is not the place for your pride that the customer says, I need this in three days, and you are like, no, but I need time to do it as my favorite way. But in this case, you have a choice, so you could go choose efficient way, but sometimes needed more work on the quick way, which is sometimes enough. And one last thing for me, uh, be a scientist, because we are basically paid for learning things and self-development, so check out new possibilities. If you are using some libraries from like the half of the year, it's probably outdated and maybe there's some better solution. So think for yourself, question authority, and experiment as much as you can do. Uh, it's not in the hooks because
because I didn't want to introduce anything new besides the animation itself. So it's based on classes, but I believe anyone would be able to understand it. And also you have examples with the fully loaded JS, so you can check the performance if you want.